Jackson, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a PNG image into a STL that you can then print on your any 3D printer that you would like. So first, you're going to choose your image, and we're just going to do Under Armour. So we're going to search up Under Armour logo, and you're going to go to Images. Select the one you want. We're going to do this one right here. So you're going to right click and then click save image as. Save it to your downloads or wherever you like. Click save. And then you're going to, you're going to go to PIC SVG dot com. And then it should bring you to this. You're going to click upload a picture. Click on the one you want. And then we're going to do. The internal three is usually the best, but it could be anyone. And so we we just want the logo, not the background. So we're gonna invert it, which is gonna turn the black to white and the white to black. So we're gonna click this button right here. And now it's this. Then you're gonna click download SVG. Go into Tinkercad, tinkercad.com. You're gonna create a 3D design. And then you're going to import, choose it, choose your image, should be the top one. And then we're going to make it however big we like, and we're going to make it 5 inches. So that's 127 millimeters. Then make sure it's in art. Then click import. And then here is your logo. You're going to click on it, and then make the quality high. And then you're bringing this thing. This will show you how big it is. So it's about five inches by three inches. So, and then we're going to make it 0.4. And then we're going to you put export STL. And then once it downloads, you're going to go to whatever software you use. I'm going to use Cura. So I'm going to go ahead and boot up Cura. And then we're going to click this button right here and then bring in our image. And then we're going to make it the correct printer. I'm going to print mine on the longer LK5 Pro. And make sure that's right. Make sure it's in the middle of your roll plate. I'm going to click slice. I'm going to click save to disk. And then you're going to select the one that you want. We're going to do this one and then save it. And now we're going to go see what it looks like when it's done on the printer. I hope you found that video helpful to turn your images into SDLs that you can print on your 3D printer. And please remember to like and subscribe to my channel. Bye, Jackson out.